hello guys welcome back so in this video you will learn how to implement Google Maps in your Flutter application that is Google Maps with white background okay and Google Maps with black background that is the black UI Google Map and the white UI Google Map okay so for that purpose uh, what we need to do first of all go to the pub.dev site and simply search for Google Maps Flutter so the Google Maps Flutter with null safety okay which is the latest new version click on installing so just copy this dependency and come back to the project and in the popspec.html file here we have to add below the flutter toast just like this and click on popcat so it has been added successfully now come back to the browser okay google maps flutter documentation we have to check click on readme so according to the documentation we already added the google maps dependency that is this dependency in our project okay and now the next step is basically to enable google map sdk for each platform so for that purpose we have to go to the google developers console so right click on it and open in link in new tab okay open it this in the new tab or you can also type this url manually okay it will redirect you here now remember one thing okay this firebase project is in the same browser where basically I click on this Google Developer Console link okay so make sure that you are logged into your Google account I mean to which our this Firebase project is connected okay or you can say where we have our Firebase project so in the same browser in the same browser you can do all these steps okay as you can see here I have the same uh, I mean my Google account here you can see my Gmail account Google account simply means my Gmail account okay so use the same browser where you have your firebase project okay and do not use any other browser so now the next step is here you can see this button okay this three dotted button or let's say if you are if you are new then you will see here select a project that is this drop down button you can say okay you will see select a project button just click here okay and it will show you this I mean this button will be visible here which is select a project and when you click on this button then it will show you this dialog box type interface from here you have to select your project so you have to click on all and our project name which you can see here uber ola and in driver clone we have to select this from the all okay let me do it in the front of you type in front of you guys again you have to simply click on this button okay which is this drop down button click on it okay and then here you have to click on all and then from the all you have to select your firebase project for example in my case my project name is uber ola and in driver clone so i will simply select this one which is uber ola and in driver clone that's it so simple and so easy and here you can see now my project name is visible to you guys okay in your case it will display your firebase project name here now come here and you will see this hamburger button okay navigation menu click on it and here we have this apis and services click on this apis and services now you have to simply click on library okay click on it so you will see an interface like this okay and here you have to simply search for maps SDK let's click on it I mean press enter so here you can see maps SDK for iOS and maps SDK for Android so first of all let's enable it for the Android maps SDK for Android so click on it so just click on this enable button and let's wait for it it is enabling the maps SDK for Android after this of course we will do it for the iOS as well so 
So now you can see the API, I mean, it is connected for the Android Maps SDK for Android. Okay, this has been enabled and has been connected for Android. Now let's do it for the iOS as well. Okay, so click here on this hamburger button and then here we have to go to API and services. And then as you know, we have to click on library and simply search for maps SDK. And this one which is maps SDK for iOS. Click on it. And we have to simply click on enable button. So it will enable it for the iOS as well. So the APIs that is map SDK for Android and map SDK for iOS has been enabled. Now is the time basically to create or you can say get the API key so that we can use the Google Maps in our Flutter apps for the Android and iOS. Okay. So for that we have to click on credentials. So here I mean you will see Android key, browser key, okay, I mean a page like this. Basically this key, which is this one, it will work for all, even if you are using it for the iOS or even if you use it for the web applications, okay, so, but since you know I mean we are developing it for the Android and iOS, so we have to just copy this key in front of Android key, you will see this, okay, in front of Android key, just copy this key okay and now let's come back to the project okay and we have to save this key in our right click on global new dot file and we can give it name as map underscore key and here we will create a string type variable and we will give it name as map key equals to and first put double quotes and inside the double quotes we can paste our key okay which we copied I mean this key I hope you can see it here so just paste that here so we have to make sure to save this here and then after it so come back to the browser let's close this now and here in the documentation for Google Maps Flutter what we need to do further here you can see that is I mean we have to make sure that our minimum SDK version is 20 and which is already 20 if I show you inside the Android app build.gradle our minimum SDK version is set to 20 already okay then the next step is to copy this and add it to our Android manifest.xml file so just copy this metadata okay copy it come back to the Android studio and in here inside the Android app src main Android manifest.xml and here at the bottom after this metadata we can simply paste that here just like this now as you can see here here we have to pass our key which is our map key so from our map key dot dot just copy this key okay copy this and on the android manifest.xml here we have to simply paste it just like this now this is basically the setup which we have done till now this is basically the setup for the android as you can see here okay now how i mean we can do it set up this for the ios so for the ios as you can see here let's come back to the project okay and minimize the Android and expand the iOS inside the iOS we have runner and inside the runner we have this app delegate dot swift swift okay so open this app delegate dot swift double click on it 
since we have our app delegate dot swift so this one is for the app delegate dot m okay but in our case we are using the app delegate dot swift okay so the swift code we have to copy from here so what we need to do we need to simply copy this whole piece of code okay the swift code since you know we have our app delegate dot swift so we will simply copy this whole piece of code and then come back here and first remove this old code from here and paste the new one which we just copied just like this and here we have to of course pass our API key so come back here to the map key and just select this copy it and in the app delegate dot swift you have to simply paste it here so yes this is all about how we set up I mean this is all about the setup related to the Android and iOS Flutter Android and iOS okay now the next video we will basically implement the map okay we have done the setup for the iOS and Android and in the next video we will just implement the maps in our this Flutter project that is we will write the code so yes I mean now you can simply close this and yeah see you guys in the next video